Good morning. How is everybody doing? I'm doing okay. It is Friday, January 14th, and it is currently 8.53. Okay, so it's still quite early, I guess. I've been up for the past couple of hours. I usually get an early start. Most mornings I get up around 5.30 or 6 o'clock because I have to get my kids out of school. I have to get my kids out of the house to be at school and the oldest has to be on her school bus by 6.45. Anyway, so last night I got a call, well, a text from an ex coworker, and we haven't seen each other in such a long time. She took a day off. So she's gonna be off and she decided that she wanted us to meet to go have lunch in the city. So I have to get ready for that. The conversation that me and her had, it was pretty late. So I didn't get the opportunity to wash my hair and all that good stuff. Now my hair is not uh, dirty, but you know, it's not styled or anything else. Nonetheless, I have to get myself ready. I have to do my hair. I gotta get my outfit together and I gotta get out of this house by noon because that's the time i gotta get out of here to meet her in the city for one o'clock anyway guys so let me show you what i'm gonna be using to get my hair done so i have a spray bottle of water with some leave-in conditioner nairobi foaming lotion a rat tail comb and i have a little skinny stiff brush and just in case i need it i'm gonna be using my eco styler gel in case i decide to go with a particular style so i'm gonna remove my wrap i'm looking crazy and i'm just going to i should have brought a towel well i have one right here but it's my husband's i'm just gonna try to get my hair wet anyway i think that's enough water it's not completely saturated but it's enough i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do i just kind of comb through it Okay, so now I'm just gonna take this head wrap and just do that. And just wrap it around the edges. And that's that. So I am back. My hair is all dry and I'm just gonna start on my makeup. I'm not really sure what look I'm going for, but for sure it's gonna be simple and for sure it's gonna be natural i'm gonna quickly do my brows i may try to just do this off camera or speed it up or whatnot but yeah
I'm just trying to clean up my complexion. I'm not really trying to be extra. This foundation is perfect if that's the look you're going for. Um, it is buildable, uh, which is perfect. But if you want to go light, I'm telling you, a couple of pumps will give you coverage, but just natural coverage. Okay. And I'm trying not to put too much foundation on areas that I'm going to conceal. So I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this is in the shade Toffee. So I'm going to try to go pretty light here and just try to conceal my dark areas. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my sponge and I'm gonna start blending. take my brush as always to clean up this area As I said in my last video, in this area, I like to go in with like an angled fluffy brush. So it's like a fluffy brush, but it's tapered. And I like to just go right here. And the excess, I like to just move across under my brows. And I'll just, you know, bring it under my eyes. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Absolute HD Flawless Setting Powder. This is in Brent and Banana, and I believe I picked this up from my local beauty supply store, but I'll link all the products down below because you can find all these products on Amazon, which I'm happy about. I'm just gonna put some in the cover here, and I'm just gonna go in and try to just set the areas that I just my, I'm gonna start with the forehead, but like I was saying, I'm just gonna go over the areas that I just concealed so I won't start to crease. And I'll start with the forehead only because that's my problem area because I have so much expression in my face <laughs> when I talk. I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzing so i'm gonna go in with my covergirl full spectrum bronzer and this is in the shade ebony so i'm just gonna take a little bit and start to just apply this right here Okay, so like I said in my last video, um, I don't, I'm not gonna leave it looking like that because that looks really harsh. You can see the lines and everything. So I'm gonna try to just, you know, let it look seamless. So I'm gonna take my foundation brush, the brush that I just used to apply my foundation, and I'm just gonna go in and try to like just bring it down. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna contour my nose a bit. I'm gonna do dots instead of a line because I think I have more control that way. Okay, so I think that will work better. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my CoverGirl bronzer to sculpt my nose. I always start from the bottom because I feel as though I have more control that way. And then I just go up into my brows. I'm gonna go in with this product I'm gonna use it as a highlighter slash blush but it's mostly gonna come up looking like highlighter on me it's by the brand dome and it's in the color or the shade English rose so I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna put it right on the my cheekbone I think it's a very pretty light pink shade I think it's absolutely beautiful i need a little bit more color because even though it's so pretty it's a little light and like i said it's more of a highlighter even though they call this a blush so i'm gonna go in with my rose quartz palette i'm gonna go in with this color right here so i'm just gonna go over the highlighter and yeah i don't want to put too much okay i think that's enough okay so i'm gonna seal all of that with my nyx matte finishing spray and i did pick this one up at ulta but you could also find this one on amazon it's very affordable okay so now i'm just gonna go down to my lips Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of lip gloss on. I'm going to put a little bit of color, but it's going to be a little weird because I'm going to actually use my eyeshadow palette to go in with this very color. It's right here. I love the color, but I can't seem to find the perfect shade in an actual lipstick. So I'm going to use uh, a brush, like a flat brush. And I'm just going to pat that on. Be careful if you try this method. It is drying, which is why I applied my um, lip gloss first. But it's important not to try to drag it, dab it, okay? Because you don't want to rip your lip. This happened to me. Let me know if you've ever done this or seen it done. I'm going to go in with this lip color. I'm not sure what color or what brand this is right now, and I can't see it. But if I do find it, I'll link it. So I'm going to figure out what I'm doing with my hair, if I'm going to put some curls in it, if I'm just going to leave it in this state. Sometimes I do do that when I don't feel like curling my hair or if I want to give my hair a little bit of break from heat. But I'll be back because I can't decide. Just give me a minute. I'm going to bump my hair just a little bit. And to start off, I'm going to go in with some Blue Magic hair grease. And I'm just going to put a light amount. I know a lot of people don't like to use grease in their hair, but I'm old school and I still like to use grease in my hair. One, because my hair is very thick and I just kind of need something to weigh it down. So, yeah. This uh, straightener is a little bit too big. Um, especially because I'm dealing with such short hair so I actually need to get something with a smaller plate maybe like a half an inch I think this is like a one inch so you know it's probably not gonna work out but let's see so I'm just gonna prep the hair a little bit I'm just gonna comb it a little bit 
okay and i try to leave the the edges intact so i'm just gonna pick up some random hairs and bump them So that's pretty much all the bumping I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna figure out what I'm wearing. It's gonna be casual wear, so yeah. So I'm just gonna put this here, try not to get it all over my makeup or get my makeup all over it, whichever one. And yeah, so I'll be right back. I am back with today's look. I'm very happy with how everything came out. That my makeup looks really nice it looks natural and that's exactly what i was going for since i am going outside and it's really sunny and bright outside so you want to make sure that your makeup kind of matches the whole vibe so i think the makeup looks real nice now my hair is real simple i mean it's the most i could have done with what i was working with i do need a perm but i think it looks quite slick i think it looks nice enough for the most part when i need a perm this is usually how i wrap my hair just do a little something with the sides so it looks cute put a little detail in the side and just go about your day and i'm quite happy with the way my hair turned out up top i'm rocking this simple but very chic long sleeve sheer body blouse it has a v-neck it's very sexy but i think it's really chic at the same time i did pick this up from forever 21 i think it was last year i really love this top it's super comfortable and i just like the detail i like how it comes up high in the back and then it just has this beautiful low cut. It's really, really cute. Now on my bottom half, I'm wearing some simple blue jeans. I'm gonna put my leg up here. And on my feet, I'm wearing some high heel boots. So I'm pretty much happy with the way things came out. In regards to jewelry, I'm just rocking some simple little earrings that I picked up at Forever 21. So they're real tiny and I let my pieces to be real small. Now let me just jump into out of wear. So I have this really long oversized scarf, which I love to wear on a very cold day. I like to put it all the way up to my neck. I'm going to be wearing my favorite winter coat. I love this coat so, so much. It's from a brand called LV. So it actually has some flare sleeves, which I think is so cute and unusual i like the insides it has a silky material in a different shade of green i think it's just so gorgeous and it does have some gold detailing on it so the other day i was looking for a nude bag and i do have a lot of nude bags in my closet but some of them aren't really practical like they're big they're oversized and they're just a pain in the ass to carry around so i was looking for one that i could just throw over my shoulder i was searching high and low i was in forever 21 h&m guests i was in all these stores looking for one and i went into rainbow and i found this one and i thought it was just so perfect i really really like it it's very simple but it has some little details on it that makes it look real fancy and i really liked that really liked the size of it it could fit my cell phone my credit cards my lip gloss like everything that i need when i'm going out could fit in this bag real comfortably so i really really like this purse sometimes i do wear it as a sling bag but you know other days i put it across my shoulders today i'm pretty much gonna wear it as a sling bag because i think it looks more classy when you do that so oh so let me show you what fragrance i'm gonna be wearing so i'm gonna be rocking this fragrance here which is a fragrance by jean paul gaultier and this one is called classique this is the eau de toilette this is an orange blossom ginger and vanilla bomb i think it smells so sexy i think it smells classy i think it just smells so so good the orange blossom pretty much gives it a bold clean soapy scent the ginger just gives it a little bit of fizziness and the vanilla gives it some sweetness and some warmth so i think it's pretty much the perfect scent to wear today it's cold outside it goes quite nicely with my outfit i just really really love this scent okay guys so that is pretty much it for me i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for spending some time with me if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more don't forget to comment down below let me know how you feel about today's video let me know you want to see more videos like this one if you're new to this channel and you haven't yet subscribed please go ahead subscribe to the channel it is brand new and of course i'm gonna need your support to have this channel grow that is it for me go out and have yourselves a fabulous day bye